little bit about the history of the Chicago. So this has been a vital asset in Chicago since we first came here, since anyone has been here. Um, in the 19th and 20th century, it served its purpose as a major transportation hub for shipping goods and serving goods and other things. And it did a good job at it. Um, one of the things that we did to make it better at shipping things is we kind of channeled it out, cleared out all the vegetation, cleared out, you know, basically everything that was natural and made it really easy to move things across. Now, we have stopped or slowed our export of goods in the city. And we use this river much less for shipping. But it's still a vital asset. There was a study that said it was worth about $40 billion a year. Now, I don't know how they came up with that number, but it, you can you know, see that this is a, you know, a major part of the city. So what we're trying to do is help facilitate, along with many other groups and many other people doing great projects, bringing nature back into the city. Into the river. Now, everyone knows the Chicago River is extremely polluted. At times, it's up to 70% effluent, which is a nice word for <laughs> sewage. <laughs> yeah. But one of the major problems with it isn't necessarily that. I mean, that's huge. Like, I, I, I don't want to underplay that. But there's nothing for plants and animals to grow on, nothing for them to you know, live around and you know, facilitate breeding and other sorts of habitat. So that's what the Nauru is trying to solve. Well, also, you know, cleaning up the river. It will do a major thing in that, but bringing the habitat back is the lowest hanging fruit, I think, for our, our city. So we embarked on a 24-month study uh, about how we could bring back plants and animals to the Chicago River. Um, in it, we put a floating island right outside of Goose Island. So if anyone has been to the Whole Foods on North Avenue, if you walk down that little walkway and lean over the edge, you can see the project in action. Now we put the initial plants on it, but let it go for the most part. And it, it, it had some amazing results. So these are the units created by a company called Floating Islands International. It is spun PET plastic that is then um, has pots for pots for pudding plants. Uh, so these are the plants that we'll put on, and after some growth, you know, we can see that things were able to grow. Um, the study's major focus was to see if they could bring back fish better than the control, which is no area and under a dock. Now, one of the things that we found is that fish did come back at a greater rate than the control underneath the dock. Um, there was also an open water control which got destroyed by people. People took the traps in. We couldn't get data for that. But underneath the dock that was right nearby, so I'll just move back to. So that dock right there was right by the arrow. So right there, it was about right here. And it was showed that the amount of fish were, there was definitely an increased amount of fish. And there was also signs of breeding, fish breeding underneath these units, which is the, 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 what we think is a success. Like, that's what we want. So we proved that it does do this, and now we're trying to find a way to put more in, to actually establish this in some sort of scale that can make a real impact on the river. But we want to leverage that technology to create the Nauru Park, or basically a destination area for natural vegetation, recreational activities, uh, maybe some local art, um, which we'll show in some renders that we have from our design partner. But it's really to take that technology from the research level to the community level. And that's why we're here. We want to open up to everyone to talk about because it's a community project.